Just four patches of rubber allow a car to accelerate, brake and turn corners. In competition, the performance of tyres is so crucial that cost is no object. If needed, a new tyre can be designed, made and air freighted from the other side of the world in just two weeks. But when that tyre is intended for our road-going cars, it takes a little longer. Years of painstaking tests are needed before a retail high-performance design is released onto the market, and that takes some very special facilities. This is D-Park, the Daigo Proving and Research Centre a few hours north of Tokyo. Yokohama have spent some £70 million carving this impressive test track out of the hills. Its sole purpose, the evaluation of tyres. D-Park is home to some very experienced drivers. People who drive exotic cars hard and fast on an empty track and get paid for it. What does it take to get a job like that? Many people can drive fast, but you have to be able to handle that speed, have a sense of the, the course and track at the same time. And just to be able to do that, to develop that skill can take about uh, five years. To completely learn the handling skills, it takes about another 10 years. Mr. Gotto, what do you do with the tyres here at Deep Park? Do various handling tests, high speed, wet and dry, handling every aspect that needs to be tested for a tyre. So what is the most difficult and challenging part of your job as a test driver? Of course, handling is difficult, but the most difficult point about the handling test is being able to distinguish when the tyre reaches its limit. The sound can be as critical as, you know, 50 hertz, so you need to have a very fine sense of hearing. But the man who listens to the tyre sing is at the sharp end of a huge factory research and development effort. It's lunchtime at Yokohama's Hiratsuka factory. That's the music for the traditional workers' exercise, but here they seem to prefer baseball and volleyball practice. And inside, tireless computers design the next generation of high-performance tyres. To develop a tyre for the replacement market, there are three major points. Uh, a tread pattern, construction, compounding. First, they take a basic construction and select a tread compound and perfect the tread pattern. Initially, they, uh, they use a computer simulations and uh, laboratory tests. Then the tire uh, goes onto the track, undergoes many hours of severe testing, and uh, then that information gained uh, here is uh, fed back to the computer, and the whole cycle is uh, repeated until Yokohama engineers are satisfied. What are the tests you do? First, we analyze uh, what the customer wants and then set up tests for aquaplaning and wet grip as well as for dry grip and handling. Uh, and then there are tests for noise, vibration and comfort. Uh, then Yokohama finally uh, road tests the tires before they uh, go on the market. In Europe, for example, uh, we would use the Nürburgring circuit uh, to simulate the severe or uh, high-speed uh, European driving conditions. It might look like a big, black, anonymous lump of rubber, but every high-performance tyre tells a story if you know where to look. In addition to the manufacturer and the model number, there's the size, load and speed rating, the direction of rotation, factory identification and even your tyre's very own birth date. But there's one car whose four tyres each tell a different story, the Honda NSX. With a unique specification at each corner, the tyres were a starting point for the NSX design. Back in 1987, Honda set out to develop a pure sports car, something which no Japanese manufacturer had ever done before. So they asked Yokohama to design the very best tyres and suspension setup. What kind of car did they want? 
ホンダは可能な限り F1 の方向で行ってます。ホンダは可能な限り F1 の方向で行っています。It took a year to get a basic construction design, then a further three years to refine the design. We used 6,000 tires in testing before we were happy with the final product. And what was the final tire design for the NSX? It took a different tire at each corner. It has four different tires. So, special car, four special tires. But in the end, whatever the car, whatever the tyre, it's all aimed at one thing, keeping Mr. Gotto happy.